Well, hello. Welcome to another program of Older But Wiser. Lorraine, I don't know how you did it, but we got a guest today that aroused the whole city hall because he was so famous in his day. We Still have is. with us John Pesky from the Boston Red, Boston Red, Sox. Red Sox is That's with right. us today. And That's what a pleasure this is. You know, I was telling you earlier that more people came down to see you and visit this uh, studio because you were here. You gotta be kidding. Than yes. anybody I else. I thought I scared everybody away. No. <laughs> and, and we've been doing this for eight years. And, really? And, uh, well, you're very, yes, and, you're and, and what a pleasure it is to have you. Well, thank you. And if we can remember as young people watching you play baseball yeah. at Fenway Park. Yeah. Well, you're probably my vintage. You have gray hair. And I yeah. got gray hair. <laughs> well, so no, she's I'm more your vintage. Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> but no, this, I'm very flattered that you did uh, the ball club. Uh, little girl that handles all the PR work over there. Yeah, She's PR. a lovely little girl and she has these assignments and you could have really got a better guy to come here. You know, a guy that was real vivacious and you got Jim Rice who's gonna, should be in the Hall of Fame and and uh, uh, and Louis Tion who, who's really something, yes, he yeah. is something. Well, he is. well you, were, you uh, mentioned earlier uh, that you knew Sammy Gentile. Oh yeah, played with him at Rocky Mountain, North Carolina in 1940. And That's you, how old we are. Yeah, you we, even you, knew his mother, the whole family. Oh yeah, she was a Spring wonderful Street, lady. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I used to spend some time over there when I first came to, especially when I was playing in Boston, because I, I knew Sammy, and, and then of course then the war came on and kind of, you know, everybody went yeah. all over the place, and, you know, you had to you had to serve your time and all this, and, uh, and I was very fortunate. I found a wife in the Navy and. And it's been good. I've, and I've I've lived here in in the Boston area, not in Lynn, the North Shore area, most of my life. Yeah. Since I've gotten older, and I am old. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, a you lot of people, yeah. a lot of people that wa watch this program are old, and the older but wiser is the name of our program. Well, that's and very, so they'll be that's so very happy. Kind. Yeah, that's they'll good be happy work. to see you oh, well, here. Well, thank you. I, yeah. I'm very happy to be here. As a guy said, I'm very happy to be anywhere. Yeah. But, but no, it's you know when you get to our age, you know we're losing so many of our people. It's it's sad, you know, yes. and, and you don't expect it. And just like I was telling you earlier, when about Sammy, Sammy Gentile. A very dear man, and I. Well, we got along so well, and he, he had he had that Boston accent, and uh, of course we got guys from the South, the West, and the East, and the North, and and they got a kick out of Sammy with that with that Boston Boston accent, accent. Yeah. And, and he was he, and, and a good hitter. He was a very good hitter. Yes. And he had a nickname for everybody. He oh God, he had ten different nicknames for players on the team, yeah. and you know he was so gregarious, if that's the word. But he was so outgoing and very likable, you know, and I don't think he ever said a bad word about anybody. And you were telling us earlier that the Red Sox really honor the old members of the oh, club. Oh, yeah, and yeah. Uh, the, new, uh, the new owners. Yes, yeah, yeah, the new yeah. owners yeah. 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 Uh, give you a lot of attention. And oh, yeah. Well, they were very good. At, uh, see, uh, uh, there's a lot of us there. Tiant, of course, was a very popular figure here. and. Uh, uh, Dwight Evans was. And I was here as a yeah. player and, and managed and coached, and Louis Tion, of course, who's very popular in town, and a wonderful, wonderful man. And Frank Malzone, the third baseman, and he's been he's he's a kid out of New York, but he joined the Red Sox many, many years ago, and he's always been one of our instructors in the system in the in the organization, and just a, a lovely man, and uh, and it was a good, very good player. He. He was a third baseman. He got all those gold gloves before Brooks Robinson. If you follow baseball, Brooks Robinson was the great third baseman of all all time. But Mel Zone was awfully good and yeah. uh, very very good. And he was very quiet, very and had a wonderful family. And and uh, Dom DiMaggio was very famous. Yeah, Dominic. Of course, he's in a famous family out of San Francisco, and yeah. he was a great player here. And his brother Joe, was, of course, was a great player. Oh, he was great. And there was another brother, Vincent, that played yeah. with the yeah, Pittsburgh the Pirates. Pirates yeah. yeah. So, did so, you do you ever uh, go out there and bat a few balls uh, now at, at this no, age? No, I'm too old. <laughs> I'm too old. I, you don't try to hit uh, Pesky's ball? No, no, that that's a mistake. That got. Mel Parnell started that business, and 
you know, he went back, he was broadcasting with Coleman and Martin and, and someone w hit a ball down there. I was, I was managing in the organization, I think I was in double A somewhere, I don't know where it was, but I was you coming. Yeah, anyway. You were managing uh, when uh, Yaz, Yastrzemski. Oh yeah, yeah, I was yeah, Yaz had, Yastrzemski was as good a player that's ever played this game. Yeah. You know, you got to put him in the better class. Better than Ted? Uh, t well, I wouldn't say he was better than Ted, but he did a lot of things better than Ted. He ran better, yeah. and he threw better, but Ted could hit a ball a ton. He oh, did, yeah. Uh, he hit a ball over 500 feet. He was a shy man, wasn't Who? he? Who? Ted. Shy? <laughs> he was very outgoing. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, sure. He'd have liked he you. Didn't. He'd have been all of you like a cold sweat. <laughs> no, he was, he, was, he was quite a man. He was very bright. Uh, he and, and Bobby Doran, and Dom, and, 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 and me, I came, I was the last of, the, of, of those guys, and, uh, and I, I might say this, I'm the youngest of them, and I'm not too far re removed from them in age, and, but we all hit it off when we came to Boston, and then, of course, when we went into the service, then we came back, we even got closer. Dominic DiMaggio is one of those people that's, that's a fine man, he has, he has a great talent for friendship, and a very wonderful man. He has done very, very well in business. He was a fine player. He's got that golden name, DiMaggio, and he loves Bobby Dorr and Ted. And of course, I was the last of the group, and I horned in there pretty good. And yeah. uh, he called, he's, he's the guy, he calls us all. And, and uh, of course, we lost Ted a couple of years ago, and uh, Dom and I drove down to see him. He was pretty sick, and yeah. then he died the next year. And it was just so sad. He was a very strong. Yeah, I'm embarrassed to say the only baseball game I ever went to at Benway, other than over uh, City of Palms in Fort Myers, yeah. uh, was the night that Walt Dropo and I believe you. Someone else came back to play against the Red Sox after that big trade. Well, that, yeah, that was after the My trade. My husband yeah. and I went there. Yeah, well, we were. We didn't want to do that. Yeah, it's, I know. In fact, I think from that trade, Dominic tra decided to, to retire. Really? Yes. Yeah. Now I, I noticed that. Uh, put, look, can I look oh, at that? Yeah, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at the, the, there. It is. There's a. I, the, I waited 60 years to see that. Would you believe to that? To get it. Isn't that wonderful? And, and, and the new owners. That, you see, it has my name over here, and it's got, oh the, it's got the trophy, and it's got the biggest upset in ma major league history because that, see, we were we were we were down to the last out. I know. And it. then we won, and we we won, we won, we beat the Yankees four in a row. They beat us three in a row. And then we turned around, and beat them four. Oh, that's and then amazing. We, then we played Anaheim and we beat them four, and then of course we played the Cardinals and we beat them. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. And well, you were there to see the oh whole thing. Oh yeah, yeah. I got soaked with everything. You live from, to talk about. Did you, did you get yeah, a little bit of yeah. champagne on your face? Oh and, my <laughs> God, I was. Listen, it was great. I, yeah. I, I even caught a cold from it. I got. What an honor! But finally, you know, the, 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 the funny the, thing, there was so much. There was so much happiness, you'd oh, be yeah. surprised. Yeah. I never saw so many grown men cry yeah. Yeah. because it meant so much. There were a lot of us in there for the first time on a championship team. We played in series, but we never, we never got the golden fleece, yeah. as they oh, say. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, but it was so much, oh boy, it's hard to just to, to talk about. I know I ran into Shilly and Shilly picked me up and I thought he was going to break my neck, you know. I said, put me down. You <laughs> he prick. seems like a nice man. Oh, he is. He's a wonderful man. Yeah. And then I come around, and then the, the guy that was really, there was so much tear shedded in, in that clubhouse. And after Schilling put me down, I, you know, of course, going around, we're hugging one another and telling how great we were and all <laughs> this. And, and I run into to Ronnie Jackson. And he was crying, so he was actually sobbing. He was so happy, yeah. and then uh, he was crying. I started to cry, and the guy over here started. Oh, was a, we looked like children, you know. Just it was it was such just, a wonderful. Well, it, it was such you know, a wonderful we time. In, what uh, a celebration! Oh yeah, it was. Yeah. You just, think it'll be this year?